Good morning, everyone. I hope this video finds you well. I'm broadcasting you live from the Atlantic City seawall on this beautiful Saturday morning in December. And today, I very happily bring to you my very late review of the Aventon Adventure Fat Tire Electric Bicycle. The Adventure is Aventon's first attempt at making a full-size fat tire electric bicycle for trails with the specifications and features, putting it in direct competition with bikes made by manufacturers such as Rad, Hemingway, and even Juiced. It comes in high step or step through, which with three sizes available for high step, small, medium, or large, and two sizes available for step through, small to medium and medium to large. The Adventure is constructed of 6061 aluminum, which is pretty much the standard on uh, high quality e-bikes. It features a generous amount of uh, available bosses for mounting front and rear racks as well as a uh, bottle holder. Again, it sits on uh, 26 by 4 inch uh, Kenda Crusade fat knobby tires that are wrapped with uh, alloy aluminum uh, full wrapping fenders. <coughs> it features a zoom front fork that has 80 millimeters of travel and also has either Bengal or zoom uh, disc brakes depending on when you order your model with 180 millimeter rotors that are also fully hydraulic. The Aventon features Aventon's new LCD screen uh, that's actually color that is, it used to be proprietary to the Aventure itself, but Aventon ultimately made it available for all the other models. Uh, you can see the website for that. Um, it's a much welcome addition, although some people say it can be hard to see sometimes with uh, direct sunlight. Uh, it powers the uh, Aventon's new uh, 48 volt, 15 amp hour uh, lithium ion battery for 720 watt hours. Again, it's exclusive to the, event, to the uh, Adventure itself that delivers power to a in-hub actual Bafang motor that is 750 watt base, 1000 watts peak, and gives you pretty much all the, uh, all the power you need. Uh, I mean, the, the bike is, you know, hella powerful. Uh, I'll, I'll have to say that. Uh, the new control system also controls the new integrated LED headlight as well as the new integrated LED tail light, and also has an integrated brake light into it as well. The drivetrain consists of the usual uh, Shimano trigger style shifter, which comes on other Aventon models. Again, for a very smooth, very shift, very precise and crisp uh, shifting action, both up and down. Uh, allows you to pull three gears at once when down shifting, so if you get to one of those hills that you weren't expecting. Uh, the drivetrain is the Shimano Acera derailleur, again, pretty good piece, uh, connected to an 8-speed cassette via a rust-resistant chain and a 42-tooth front chain ring with 170 millimeter crank arms, as well as alloy aluminum pedals. The Adventure comes with a Venton standard rear saddle. It has the name on it, but I believe it's made by Velo. Still very plush, very comfortable, good surface area, doesn't make you sore. Also with the Velo rubber grips. I'm glad they're made out of rubber. A lot of them are kind of plasticky and when your palms get sweaty it can kind of make you slip off the bike. Also included is the throttle on demand. This is the first event in bike with throttle that came with throttle on demand. You can upgrade all the rest of them with a upgraded controller. I know a lot of people know that but this one actually had it from the factory. It also has, I had to mention, underneath here a USB charger. If you need to charge your phone or your GoPro or any other device that you might have on you, it comes in handy. Very nifty feature. Glad to have that. The uh, new 720 watt hour battery is integrated into the frame as well as key locked into place. Uh, new and exclusive to the Adventure itself is the, uh, the backlit uh, on off button for the battery. That's also the uh, status bar. Instead of having a separate light for the, uh, the status of the battery, it's actually now part of the uh, is the button itself. Down here is the charging port that has again the, uh, the specific uh, Adventure uh, three prong uh, plug. I'm, I'm not going to open it here because okay. my hands are kind of frozen. The Adventure comes shipped as a class 2 e-bike. That means the top speed for throttle <clears throat> and as well as pedal assist can only go to 20 miles per hour. However, there is an app available that you can sync the phone to and it actually allows you to turn the bike into a class 3, meaning that it can upgrade to speeds of uh, up to 28 miles per hour and possibly even more. But you do have to uh, have an Apple or an Android phone and you do have to sync them to this in order to uh, be able to unlock that feature. 
Uh, most people do it and they get much more satisfaction out of the bike. Uh, again, if you live in an area where Class 3 is available, is, uh, is allowed legally, that is. But um, other than that, 20 miles per hour is your top speed. But you'll get all the riding range in the world if you leave it that way. It's up to you.